Someone is flourishing. Please believe what you are receiving. Anyone here trusting God for a job, whether for you or for your children, I call upon the Lord God of heaven who helps men. Between now and the end of this year, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. In the name of Jesus. And I pray, this is a place that has been graced with the spirit of entrepreneurship. I pray for anybody who is struggling in business. Anybody who is struggling to make ends meet. In the name that is above all names. I place grace upon you. Go and begin to excel. 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 There are many of you who are here, but the truth is that your destiny is not in this nation. Wherever you are, I relocate you to the place of destiny. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. East of the Niger, let me pray for you. Your children will not serve the devil. Please shout a loud amen. Your children will not serve idols. There will never be a generation in the East that will reject the God of the Bible. Therefore, we decree and declare, let the fire of revival, let it rest upon the East. Let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord. Let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord. Let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. Any family that has been backward here that will not go forward. I stand as a prophetic midwife. I push you forward. I push you forward. Go forward in life. Go forward in destiny. Go forward in life. Go forward in destiny. Go forward in life. Go forward in destiny. In forward in destiny. Listen. Please don't be tired of receiving. Listen to me. I stand with all humility. There is something that is coming on you. I know what it means to be helped by God. This man who is standing before you is a testament of what it means to be helped by God. I have stood before kings, before nations, presidents, leaders, captains of industry. I am not one person who has the leverage of somebody coming to do this. No, it is the finger of God. There is a grace that comes upon a man. It's called the grace for visibility. It says, neither do men light a candle. That is the grace I want to release on you. Right now, wherever you are, whatever has been hiding your glory, I call upon the God of Jeshurun that right here where you are, rise to a position of visibility. Rise to a position of visibility. Rise to a position of visibility in ministry, in business. Rise to a position of visibility. Hallelujah. The spirit of smallness that keeps you small in the name of Jesus. I cause it right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Please hear me. If there is any man who has despised your call and despised the hand of God upon your life, between now and the end of this year, 2023, I decree and declare, may the grace of God upon your life begin to speak evidently. Two more prayers. Two more prayers. Do you believe in financial blessings? I have told you, if you are not empowered economically, you will remain a slave forever. Any region, 
any person any family the purpose of prosperity is not for the marketing of the flesh i was teaching my people and i told them the moment you you love jesus and you understand the purpose of the blessing don't be afraid to receive it listen to me one of the ways that satan keeps families and keeps destinies and churches bound is by surrounding them with zeal but with the spirit of poverty and lack there are many church buildings that have been stagnated there are many men of god who love jesus christ but right now they are parading the corridors of compromise because the means to take care of their children their wives their members there are many people destroying themselves becoming a prey to the devil i know that finances come when you transact wealth but let me tell you the truth god can use men to bless you i want to release a grace upon you in the name of jesus I lay my hands on my head and I'm praying by the message of the God of David the one who opens a door that no man can shut I am praying for you between now and the end of this year a dimension of the help of God financially that you have not seen may it come your way may it come your way may it come your way may it come your way, come your way. and for everyone here who has lost money whether in business lost money whether your goods were hijacked i don't care by what means and what form by the mercy of god may my god who is also your god restore you a thousandfold <laughs> hallelujah finally you stand and will kneel to pray this prayer I place my hand upon the earth of the east in the name of Jesus as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ O earth I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead if there is anything upon the soil of the east that destroys the program of God by the mercy of God let the blood speak right now by the mercy of God let the blood speak right now by the mercy of God let the blood speak right now hear me I decree and declare the eastern region I said it yesterday I will repeat it again the dimension of grace that is supposed to serve the nations from here we open the gate for it to start manifesting every son of the soil daughter of the soil that has been ordained to serve the purposes of God whether financially or ministerially and there is a spirit that surrounded you and just boxed you in the east here without having a global visibility I declare may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah thank you for your patience please give me the honor to make one last altar call and then i will hand over to the host please be patient just learn five minutes and we're gone let's be disciplined in god's presence and to finish well you are in this place and you are saying apostle do not end this conference without giving me an opportunity to love jesus i made an altar call yesterday night and i know that there are many of you i saw several people outside Please, I want you to listen to me. No one can compel you to come to Jesus, but your eternal destiny and your destiny even right here depends on it. I want to make an altar call, two calls in one. You are saying, I genuinely want to hand over my life to Jesus Christ to make it right. I'm tired of playing church and playing religion. I want to make it right with the Lord Jesus. Or you are saying, I am here. I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. There's no need to be afraid and ashamed. You know it because the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you. I'm going to count one to five. While everyone is seated, I want you to run and leave your seat. Come and stand here. At the end of the fifth call, I begin to pray. One, let's celebrate them as they come. Don't say I'm an usher. Don't say I'm a worker. Leave what you are doing and come before Jesus. Come. You don't have to kneel for space. Just stand. Enugu, are you celebrating salvation? Come.
come come thank you thank you for making it right with jesus young and old male female come we're out of time but we'll wait for you you are worth our sacrifice you were worth the blood of jesus come let's celebrate those coming from outside i still see a few people running from outside hallelujah i see some of you coming to drop seats just be patient with the issue of seats first please let's just finish the altar call i'm sure there will be room for you to give but let's let's focus on salvation just those who are coming to give their hearts to the lord come the bible says there is joy in heaven rejoicing in heaven over the salvation of one sinner come 